In 1 Samuel chapter 23, we see two men with very different approaches on how they made decisions. Have you ever wanted or needed something so bad that you viewed every opportunity as God's will for your life? Maybe you've found yourself running through every open door because you assumed it was God that was opening it for you. Chapter 23 begins with David receiving word that the Philistines were stealing grain from the threshing floor in Keilah. And immediately we see in verse 2 David's approach to the problem. It says, David asked the Lord, should I go and attack them? Yes, go and save Keilah, the Lord told him. David seeks the Lord and then waits for an answer. In contrast to that, we see Saul in verse 7 learning of David's location and he immediately mobilizes troops to kill him and says, God has handed him over to me. But at no point does Saul actually seek God for direction or wait for his answer. And we see this over and over all throughout the chapter. David constantly seeking God, God answering, and then David taking action. And then there's Saul, who is simply reacting to every potential opportunity and then claiming it's from God, only to be met by failure and disappointment. More often than not, in our lives, we find ourselves being more like Saul than we do David. We're so desperate for God's guidance that we throw up a single prayer and then run through the first open door that we see. We must remember to seek God's wisdom first. James 1.5 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. So I want to encourage you today. Seek the Lord's wisdom in all things, and remember that not every opportunity is a door that you're meant to walk through. And lastly, let me leave you with the wise words of wisdom from Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight.